Don't. Hey. There was a. I thought it was a B. Not a B. Oops. One of the oldest questions that I've been asked for forever, pretty much, is Raymond, how many scooters do you have? And to be 100% honest, I don't really know what to say. Why do I not know what to say? It's because I don't really know. I've been scootering for 14 years, and I have a lot of stuff that I've kind of accumulated throughout those years. The actual answer to the question, there is a number, I don't know what it is, but I feel like that number is not legitimate. Now what exactly do I mean by that? What do I mean that it's not legitimate? The reason I don't think it's an a that actual number is legitimate is because a lot of the scooters that are within that number are things that are way, way outdated. But I think you guys are mostly just looking for an impressive number, so we're gonna count them. Another thing, all of these scooters are not brand new. All the scooters that are gonna be in this video, there's either something wrong with them, or I've had them for a really long time, or I'm planning on giving them to somebody that needs them. That's another thing, like I've had a lot, a lot more scooters than you guys are gonna to see today, but I give a lot of my stuff away to kids that I see that truly do need them. So don't, hey. There was a, I thought it was a B, not a B. But like I said, you guys ask, I'm just here to answer. Today's count is gonna start in the garage. Now I have parts in my garage, I have parts in my house, and I have parts in my car, and I definitely have parts at my mom's house too. So this is meaning like all the scoots that I have here, that are like rideable. Again, I don't know what's wrong with all of these, but with all of them, there's something. All right, so here's a scoot right here that I see all the time when I'm getting into Bertha. Um, this, as you can see, is my old signature deck. These were a couple of test wheels that I had on here, which a lot of you guys actually commented on. Uh, SWV3, uh, General Clamp, Reaper Bars, Grips. So this scoot's pretty sick right here, but again, not one that I really ride all that often. I think this one was my spare for a really long time until I got another one. One on the list. Over here we have a bunch of super old bars, um, other than the unions, of course, um, but these are like my old signature bars right here. Got a couple of sets of T-bars. This is like my first, one of the first pairs of T-bars that I had. These are some more of my signature bars, but these are like the smoke and white color combination. I always thought that this was a really cool idea, um, so shout out to Scooter Zone for getting that done. Back here behind, a dashboard that I have for Bertha. We have a uh, AOS V3 deck. This happens to be the Ludo. Oh, here we go. Here we got uh, we got one of my complete scoots. This scoot you would have actually seen um, in my Envy edit. So I believe this is the scooter that I did the flip six whip to bar on, uh, if I'm not mistaken, which was the banger in that video. So uh, yeah, that one's just been hanging out here. I do plan on putting all of these scooters on display one day when I do have a house. But as of right now, I don't have room for that in my place, so they just all hang out in here so they don't get ruined. And over here we have a couple more scoots. This was a complete that I I don't I don't remember what all of these scooters are from to be honest, but Reaper V3 is on this one. Uh, one of my decks. I think I switched this one out because it was just getting super scratched up and really old because I had it forever. Um, we have the I, like I said, I call it the shark clamp, but this is the forged clamp and the uh, headset grip tape. This is another one of my old scoots right here. Uh, this is this is when I was still on Epic and Envy. No longer on Epic, just full Envy. But as you guys can see, it has my old signature bars on there as well. Um, in the raw color and down towards the bottom, we have an Envy SCS right here in black chrome. And we also have my signature deck. This was, again, the last signature deck I had. So this is the burnt pipe one, but this one was actually a test color. This is like a dark um, mirrored blue like a, uh, I guess yeah I guess that, that would really be the name of it like a dark mirrored blue I absolutely love this colorway but we couldn't constantly recreate it but still sick and then down here the forks on this scooter these are RG 125s as well as I believe the Julio wheels yeah these are the Julio wheels uh, the red on splashed black colored uh, wheel combination. A very, very nice scooter. Loved this whip. Got KOS charge right here. Back here we have another pretty old deck. Again, this is probably one that I had that got really destroyed because I had it for a long time. 
Um, we have some more bars right down here. Uh, let's see, we got like one, two, three, four sets of bars right here. These are more of my old signature bars, as you guys can see. Had a lots of sets of these. These are some old session bars off of a scooter that I had while I was on Phoenix. Here we have some Union bars. These are actually, um, these are brand new. As you guys can see, these I have not had for that long. These Envy just sent me with my last sponsorship package. So you guys probably saw a, uh, a video of me actually unboxing those. And if you didn't, click right up here, check it out. I don't know if I have anything in here. Hey, my lens cap, I've been looking for this. Got some fan mail in here, which I do plan on opening. So for those of you guys that are always wondering, what, Ray, when are you gonna do another fan mail opening? I will do another fan mail opening very, very soon. I thought I saw some stuff back here. Oh, here we go. Down here, we have some more bars. I think these are off of my Dirt Scoot, and that's just another set of my signature bars. Like, these are off my Dirt Scoot, these are signature bars. Back here, we have a couple of old Envies. We have an old Envy Prodigy, and I believe this is a Colt. Yeah, it's a Colt right here, so a Colt and a Prodigy, and I also have a Jesse Ikeda deck. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I don't know why I have those, but I definitely need to give them away. Because I know that there are a ton of kids out there that would appreciate things like that. Oh, here we go. This is the old, old mini scoot. This, I, I absolutely love the size of this deck because it's not overly small to where you can't really ride it, but it's definitely small enough to have a good time on. This is obviously, you can see it's not a normal mini scoot right now. We have the dirt scoot components on the front and we did that specifically, obviously for a video idea. Moving down here, we have another one of my old signature AOS V4 decks. Uh, again, this is a scooter that I had while I was on Epic because as you can see, it has an Epic SCS right here as well as the Epic carbon fiber uh, colored fork. One thing about this scooter that I really did like uh, were the fact on, on these forks, they had a really weird compression system on them. This is like a removable star knot. You guys might have seen this in Apex forks as well if you've ever kind of looked at those. Um, I love this compression. It's really cool. Uh, just a really good idea and it kind of saves your startup from being destroyed all the time. And as you guys can see right here, we have a bunch of old wheels, old epic quakes and things like that. These are like, like these are brand new. I think I grabbed these for an event that we had one time when I was working at Scooter Zone. And I forgot to take them back to the store and they just ended up in my garage. Same with these right here. So if James, if, if you're watching this one, yo, my bad, dude. I, I snagged some wheels. I never rode them. My bad. They were green. You weren't going to sell those things anyway. Also have, these are my old signature wheels right here. These ones I never did ride because I wanted to make sure that I kept them because these were the prototype ones. So uh, yeah, really, really cool to ha still have these and um, them be brand new. We've got some more wheels over here. Again, a bunch of these are brand new. I don't know why I didn't ride these. They must have been extras uh, when I did quit uh, the Epic team, but I still got them. I make sure to keep all of my parts just in case somebody needs them, things like this. This is the old Branson Smith wheel that was going to go uh, go into production, but I don't ever think it did. So I, I realized I haven't really been counting, so let's go back and start counting again. All right, so one full scooter. There's a fork down here. Oh, never mind. Empty box. I'm going to count this deck and one set of those bars as one scooter. So there's there's two scooters there. I'm going to say two and a half with the bars and the deck. Oh, I didn't even see this pair of bars right here. Three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. I'm going to say eight. There's a deck right there that I might have missed. And I'm sure there's some forks in there. So I obviously have a lot of wheels. So we're going to say we're going to say nine mini scoots, ten. This scooter right here, along with a pair of bars, that's 11. So it looks like right now, just in my garage, we're at 11 scoots. Now, these are not gonna be parts that I will ever ride. Some of these are extremely old parts that I've had ever since I still live with my parents. Um, so this, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of you guys are not gonna know what a yak wheel is, but yak wheels were one of the best wheels back in the day. Not this one in particular, this wheel freaking sucked, but it is a yak wheel nonetheless. Still really cool to have this piece of history. Um, it has a plastic inner race where the bearing would go, which I always thought was really, really stupid. Why would you not just machine this out to where it was this size? Inside this box, we have a Scooters Only Australia wheel. This, oh, this was always a really cool wheel. Plastic core. This is an old, I think this was 150 millimeter. I got this off of a Fusion. Another Scooters Only Australia wheel. One of the very, very, very first proto wheels. So old, you guys. This was like a tester, I believe. I think this is an old, yeah, this is an old Eagle Sport wheel that I had. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, the Yak Wheel. A brand new Yak Wheel at that. Blue core, red urethane. This was the wheel, and I got one brand new. Some of the OGs might remember this wheel as well. Old Eagle wheel. 
MGP wheel, more yak wheels. Moving on, we have this little Razor scooter that I would have used for some kind of a video, so that's 11. We have the old antique scooter right here, which would be 12. We have the $1 scooter right here, 13. We have the memory foam grip tape scoot, um, but no bars or wheels on it, but we have some bars back here that are just kind of hiding behind my skateboard. Now I'm sure I have another fork in here, so I'm just gonna call that, wait, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's 15. Moving on over here, we have some titanium bars uh, that were actually epic titanium bars uh, with a full front end kind of attached to the bottom, as you guys can see right over here. We have one of, ah! we have one of the Keenan Mema AOS V4 decks. So a lot of you guys probably have not seen this deck. I don't know how well you can see the color on this, but now you can see it a lot better. That's like a purple splatter kind of color. This thing um, was made by Envy specifically to help out one of the older riders that ended up having some kind of a disease. And uh, yeah, so I, I, bought, I bought this scooter um, from, I believe, London because that's the only place that I could get it from. So super proud to have one of those. Old Phoenix deck. So wait, what are we at? 12, 13, 14, 15. This is, so this right here would be 16. Uh, we got a, a Razor scoot right here, 17. Got a Prodigy, 18. Got more bars right here with my very first scooter right here. I'm trying to see if there's any other decks around here or not. That's just, my garage is kind of a mess. Oh, here we go. For all those scooters that didn't have forks, here's some forks that will just say that we're on there. Just in my garage, um, I have, it seems like I have 20 scooters in here. So 20 scoots. Oh, scratch that. 21. 21 scooters in my garage. I'm pretty sure that inside of these boxes, there's a bunch of parts as well. But I'm not going to go through those right now because I don't feel like it, to be honest. We're, we're going to say there's 21 in my garage right now, but we're going to move on to... I'm not really going to go into, into uh, my other car and show you the scooter that I ride every single day. So that we'll just count that as 22. But we are going to go inside of my house and show you guys all the scoots that I have in there. Alright, so we are currently inside my house right now. And I'm just going to start in the spot that's very, very obvious for me personally. Um, in this little cupboard, I know that I have one full deck right there as well as a pair of bars that are hiding in there right, like that are right there. What is that, 23? I also have um, like some wheels and forks and things like that from like my last sponsors up in there. So we're not going to count all of those. I'm just going to leave those be for now. But we have a, another scoot right here. I believe that's 24. This is currently my spare, um, which is normally in my car, but I just took some stuff out of my car. Um, so this would be 25 because the bars for it are right there. This scooter over here, this isn't mine. This is Mackenzie's scooter. So I'm not gonna count this as being my, I'm like I'm not gonna put that in there because obviously I don't own that one. I have some more scooters in my bedroom. Uh, I have, I know I have one or two under my bed, which are like old Phoenix Revent decks, but um, I'm not really touching those right now. We have one of my old signature decks right here. Um, so I'm, and I know I have a bunch of bars and wheels and forks and stuff in these boxes right here. Uh, we also have a John Reyes deck right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to count these two. I believe if I'm not mistaken, which I might be, I think this is 26, 27. I know I have another deck up there. Where the heck is it? I'm not going to go through and start looking for it, but I know that I have my very first ever Phoenix Reventon in that room. Um, as well as my very first ever AOS V4 signature. That's like the first one that I ever, ever got. So number one right there, that one's not ridden either. So all in all, I believe that's all the ones, that's all the ones that I have here. I, I know I have the one in my, my car, which is the one that I'm riding every single day right now. And I have a bunch of scooters at my mom's house. I think my dad took a couple of my scooters over to Illinois when he moved. I also have like some parts kind of like just all over my house right now. But for the ones that you guys saw today, I'm gonna go ahead and just go, I'm gonna go out on a limb and including all of the parts and things like that, I'm gonna go ahead and say 30. I have 30 scooters here. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna give away all of my scooters today. Like I'm not gonna give them all away on YouTube. I usually give them to kids that I see, I personally see that need them. When I, so when I go to a skate park and I see a kid needs a fork, I got lots of forks. So I usually go to the skate park. I'm like, here you go, dude, you need this fork more than I do. It's just sitting in my house and it's brand new. I like giving stuff out away online and stuff like that, but I sometimes feel as though it's it doesn't really go to kids that absolutely need it. So that's kind of why all of the parts I have in my house, all the ones that I accumulate, that's why I give them out in person. At my mom's house, I think I have like five, five to 10 scooters over there. Um, and my, my dad probably has like a couple of mine as well. So all together, 
with every single part that I have still today, I probably have close to 40 scooters, enough for 40. But then again, that's over the course of 14 years. So um, when you really think about it and how hard I ride, it's really not that much. I've also given away a lot of stuff. Um, I've probably given away at least 20 or 30 scooters in my lifetime. A lot of you guys, like I said, have been asking me this question forever. Usually it's in person. I see it online every now and then, but for those of you guys that always ask, Raymond, how many scooters do you have that you actually ride? The answer is usually one. I, I have two technically that I, that I have specifically for riding at that moment. That's just in case like something breaks on one of my scooters, which is actually pretty rare. Uh, but you, usually the scooter that I ride every single day, it's, it's just one. I don't have seven scooters that I take to the skate park. I take one scooter. It's the same scooter every single time. That's the way I like to do it. But thank you guys again so much for watching this video and thank you guys for asking me that question so that I could answer it and make a full video about it. So love you guys as always and until next time, I'm out. Later.